First tonight, the new advisory just in on Hurricane Lee, still out there in the Atlantic. And first alert, Chief Meteorologist Steve Weigel here with the latest. Steve? Yeah, John, we're watching this one closely, of course. Uh, it is expected to track east of the Bahamas on, uh, well, Tuesday and Wednesday and into Thursday. There's a look at the storm tonight. We also have Tropical Storm Margo off in the uh, central Atlantic. We'll take a look first at Hurricane Lee. The latest coming in from the Hurricane Center. Hurricane hunters have been flying through it the last few days, uh, finding winds now at 105 miles an hour so it continues to drop with its wind speeds now down to a category two and the track is pretty much west northwest and hasn't changed much from the advisories even three or four days ago uh, expected to make a turn toward the north that'll happen on wednesday and then eventually race up the east coast and maybe an issue for new england or atlantic canada that would happen late week friday or saturday uh, depending on just how quickly it starts to move north you can see the computer model timing are all over the place here but what is high confidence is the fact that it stays oh, about six to seven hundred miles away from south florida what we do deal with though are big ocean swells uh, i mean in the core of this there are not, we're talking 30 40 50 feet uh, but for our area it starts to develop on tuesday it begins to increase wednesday thursday and even into friday and we could see significant beach erosion high confidence in the track the bermuda high is standing strong but we have this trough off the coastline that'll funnel this up into the northeast as we get into the middle of next week